Presenting EquestrianCoach.com. Coaching is a visual form of learning. It can be difficult to get a clear mental picture from a book. Equestrian Coach takes visual to the next level. It prepares you to win. Bernie Traurig has meticulously crafted a core flatwork training series, providing a riding simplified progressive training system. This is not your ordinary training experience. Videos are presented in high definition that continuously adapt to your connection speed, providing an unparalleled viewing experience. Utilizing slow motion and graphics to give you the image of the performance you are working to achieve. With new videos added each month, you will never stop learning. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what a few others have to say. Paul Cronin says EquestrianCoach.com is currently the most important contribution to college equine education curricula in the 21st century. George Morris says that there's nothing like education. Knowledge is power. You can't go wrong with education spearheaded by these kinds of people. To gain that kind of insight from those caliber of people in the business is just amazing. For less than the cost of a single clinic, you can have an entire library of clinics at your disposal on EquestrianCoach.com. I find that every coach and exercise brings something different to your training program. It makes you believe that you can be an Olympic rider, and that's how amazing this site is. Hi, I'm Peter Pletcher. Welcome to EquestrianCoach.com. I'm here today to talk about the Handy Hunters and how to ride and how to train for it. I feel that a lot of people think the Handy Hunter is supposed to be fast with a lot of tight turns. You still need to remember that it's a hunter course and you, you want to incorporate your turns and maybe a little bit of a hand gallop in the course but at the same time, not be crazy. It's still judged on the hunter style and the way of going. Today, we're gonna work on lead changes. This is Arden, he's a five-year-old. He has a, a nice change in there, but he's a little green about them. And sink in, sink in, good. Little haunches in and canter off. Good. And the haunches in, bend the elbow. Try not to let him drag you down. Get him off his right shoulder, there you go. You want him off the right shoulder, left hind in. My name's Kos Karazisis, this is my wife, Jenny. Today we're gonna to talk about bending lines. Riding the track is extremely important on a bending line. You have to make that track fit the distance and it has to be stride appropriate for your horse. You need to ride a specific track in order to really have a beautiful round. The topic that I'd like to focus on today is balance and rhythm. I find that too often today riders are always searching for the perfect distance and frankly I don't think that the perfect distance is always just what we want. I wouldn't call that the absolute best ride. I was a little bit long coming in but I never told my horse oh my gosh I'm long. I didn't panic. I supported the ride and I made him think yep that's exactly what I want. Figure it out because it's what we've been practicing. He doesn't have to be perfect, but he has to have good balance. This is a good example of a good frame, good mover at the trot. I want to be able to sit the canner like this. Just really make it look like she is so comfortable. And I feel like I could just sit this canner all day long. No need for me to be riding her in this position in the under saddle class. This is Missy Clark. Welcome to EquestrianCoach.com. Today we're going to fine tune some downward transitions and incorporate trot fences with the equitation finals and metal and McClay classes. There are tests involved that requires the rider and horse to understand trot fences. Probably one of the hardest tests that I think that can be asked is cantering in over an oxer to what would be a three stride line and having to trot out. That, that's, that requires a lot of uh, skill and, and degree of training of your horse. Hi, I'm Candace King. Welcome to EquestrianCoach.com. I'm here with Scar Glens Davos and I'd like to give you a demonstration of one of our sessions to try and prepare in the next few weeks going into the FEI tent and having him fit and ready and rideable 
One thing that I like to work on with him are short exercises where he's got to think quick, think about where he's landing. So today I'm going to work on an exercise of three verticals at 21 feet with landing rails. I always believe that my job is in between the jumps, his job is the jumps. I'm Denny Emerson and we're going to give a presentation on a common problem and it's called jumping up the neck or jumping ahead of the motion so that your upper body falls up the neck and your lower leg swings back. I think it's sort of instinctive as a human being to think forward means lean. If you are going to run faster, you lean. If you're going to skate faster, you lean. Mark's body is subdivided. Half his weight is in front of the stick, half his weight to compensate has come back. You have to do it right over and over and over and over till the, till the right thing begins to feel like the normal thing for you. What we're going to work on today is an exercise that I've done for years and years and it's just a really basic serpentine. It's three fences side by side so you can put them about anywhere doing the basic pattern of a serpentine. So this is the, a good opportunity to sort of allow the riders to work on the horses, the control the straightness, the ability to ride them through the turn with leg and bend and, and just, just all the things that you need when you're out on course. I'm Will Simpson. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about my distance selection process. It's a system I use every time I jump a fence to create the distance. I feel that no rider just sees a distance. We all do a little something to create the distance. So this is a system that works at every level of rider and every level of horse. Today I'm showing you one of my favorite gymnastics that I've had success with over many years. We don't want an abandonment through this. We want connection that follows the horse in the air, connection in the middle. Let the gymnastic work for you. Use your voice as an aid and work on your connection with this exercise. It's a great exercise as well for a rider, not only just for a horse's agility and front end, but a great exercise to train a rider. Access this large library of education 24 hours a day, seven days a week from your computer, iPhone, or iPad. Everyone from novice all the way up to the most advanced rider will gain valuable knowledge from the top riders in the sport. EquestrianCoach.com gives you the edge you will need to win.